This is a scene that's become all too familiar for some people living in Milwaukee. Car parts scattered across lawns, marking the aftermath of a deadly crash. Senseless, senseless, because these things shouldn't be happening. That sentiment shared by almost everyone I spoke with in this neighborhood near 12th and Locust. Minister Rafe Perry was one of the few people willing to speak openly about reckless driving in Milwaukee. Driving, it looks like the Indy 500. It's sad. The kids are scared to walk across the street because senseless driving, senseless. A 19 year old was killed early this morning when police tried to stop the driver of a suspected stolen car near 64th and Congress. They have no respect, no respect for the streets, no respect for law, no respect for life. Police say the driver blew past multiple stoplights and stop signs, nearly causing an accident, but that didn't stop him. He blew past another light near 12th and Locust and slammed into another car. I understand it's like for the adrenaline rush and whatnot, but it's, it's like people, loved ones at risk. This is the second time in two days innocent victims were impacted by a driver trying to evade police. On Wednesday, a seven year old and a nine year old were hurt when a police pursuit ended with a crash near 16th and Keefe. It's a generational issue. Although there may be renewed debate over Milwaukee's pursuit policy, the Fire and Police Commission says there's no plan to change it, but they are open to reevaluating it. Reporting near 12th and Locust, Lauren Winfrey, today's CMJ4.